So I was speaking with quite a few people over lunch about how they were enjoying the morning and whether they felt they were getting what they needed out of today. And we realize it's an awful lot for you to take a day off work or, and to pay for your ticket to come here and to spend your time with us. We all know that time is one of our most valuable commodities in this day and age. And we so appreciate you being here. But somebody actually pointed out to me earlier that part of what we're doing here today is we're actually broadcasting our message out there but we aren't listening to what you have to say and that's kind of the point of social media right it's a two-way conversation so I want to break from our program for just a minute and I'm gonna come down the center aisle and if I don't pinpoint you and you have something you want to tell me you need to stand up and get over here and hold this mic I want you to tell me in one sentence in 140 characters <laughs> something about today that you're enjoying, something about today that you want to see differently, some, anything about today that you want to share with us because we are listening and this is the first event in Canada. It is not going to be the last, so we need your feedback on this. So as I come down the audience, flag me down. Anybody want? Because I'm going to pick people. All right, Amy, go for it. Hi, um, I'm a writer. I'm a writer. My name's Amy Baskin, and I'm really loving the fact that everyone who is speaking is telling stories. And I think that's really, really powerful, and I'm finding that just pretty exciting. Awesome. Thank you. This is not a how-to Twitter conference. <laughs> who else? Who else would like to share something with me? These lights are really hard. Hello, my name's Derek Weidel. I'd like to say that was the best rendition of Happy Birthday I've ever heard. <laughs> There are kids on Twitter, too. Anybody else? Oh, now I'm out of the lights. I can see you all. Yes. Um, I came out here to, to learn something about Twitter, and I realize I'm not really learning anything about Twitter. I'm learning about us, uh, about our, our perseverance and our, our resolve and our, um, the strength of our imagination to do new things with this medium. And that's the message, right? Somebody, uh, was, wasn't it Kevin that got up this morning and said he doesn't know anything about Twitter, but he knows about people. And that's what this is all about. Anybody else have something they want to share? Oh, come on. There's got to be stories in the audience. Hi, I'm Sarah. And the thing I'm loving, I'm learning great new responses for when my companies are asking me, what's the return on investment for social media? That is my most hated question. So thank you, everyone, for your great stories. Awesome. Well, you know, the next time somebody asks you that question, especially if it's somebody from the C-level executive, what's the ROI on social media? I just go back and say, what's the ROI on that phone you got there? Do you need the phone? Yeah, you need social media, same deal. <laughs> I hear an O somewhere. Somebody else wants to share something? Nobody has any, oh, Jody, awesome. I want to hear from you. I've already learned that the uh, ROI of this conference has nothing to do with why I came here and has everything to do with the fact that I'm learning that everybody has and knows somebody who has the same exact story as the person who's on the stage and nobody is really alone even if you think you are and apparently Jeff now wants the mic. I would just say that sometimes ROI might be return on inspiration. Ah, awesome, I love that, thank you. Hi, my name is Lindsay Petal, and I just took a social media job with a bigger company. So this has been great for me to be able to go back and actually show them what I believe in so much. I've never come to a business conference before and laughed and cried at a business conference. So thank you, Jody <laughs> and Chris, who made us sing happy birthday because there was waterworks here. <laughs> thank, thank you. Who hasn't made a new friend here yet today? Anybody? Oh, oh, Jeff, I think that was a direct call from uh, Cocktail Diva. She needs a hug. <laughs> yes. Hi, my name's Lee Mitchell, and I've come here to learn more about awesome conferences, and I think you guys have done a fantastic job so far, and I, I get so much out of uh, learning about how to do things differently, and I love the pole dancing. That was <laughs> awesome. So if you're a pole dancer, if you want to come to my conference, you're more than welcome to. Ah, is Jane still here? Do I see? Is she? Oh, Jane, okay, so this lady right here, you guys need to connect. 
How, when's the last time you were at a business conference when the, uh, the modus of operandi was hugging, not handshaking? <laughs> That's the kind of business conference I want to attend all the time. Anybody else have anything they want to share? Yes. My name's Alvin. My name's Ivan Lamaru, and I'm just uh, really compelled by the cross section. And this is kudos to the organizers of the you know breadth and depth of stories that we're getting to hear uh, in the various uh, spheres that they're in. Like we, we're getting news and all kinds of uh, details about various areas, and it, it's just great. It's like you don't really get that cross section. We all like follow our own tweets and stuff in communities, but you know there's some inspiration in everything everyone has to say. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I want you all to think about your stories as we go through the rest of the afternoon because if we have time, I'm going to take the mic out in the audience again. And this time I won't be asking. I'll just be handing it to you.